have a sample here. It's from Donner Pass Whiskey. It's a Glen Turret 12. 2020 maiden release. 46% alcohol by volume, non chill filtered and not colored. First fill sherry cask. I don't know if that's a full maturation in first fill sherry cask or if it's a finish in first fill sherry casks. But the first fill sherry casks are European oak from what I saw and what little research I did. So this will be interesting. I'm predicting spicy and uh, fruity and delicious, but we'll see. Donner Pass Whiskey rarely, no, I believe he's never steered me wrong. Everything he sent me has been very good. So let's hope this is not the exception to that rule. Yeah, I was right. It's spicy. Spicy and fruity on the nose. More spicy than fruity. Okay, now the fruit is coming up. Dark, ripe fruits. Figs, dates, raisins, plums, prunes. All those good things. And spicy too. What's the spice? All spice, a bit of nutmeg maybe. Just spicy. This is the first time I've ever nosed Glen Turret. And it will also be the first time I've ever tasted Glen Turret, as far as I can remember. It's not like expressions of Glen Turret are readily available in my neck of the woods. Beneath the fruitiness, the, the dark dried fruits, and the ripe fruits, there is some maltiness hiding under there. I'm just getting faint whiffs of it. Oh, nice, nice, dark, ripe and dried fruits, and the figs, the dates, the raisins, the prunes, the plums, not much of a berry note in there, but it is fruit forward, fruit and spice forward. Definitely getting spices from the European oak. I 
and that wooden spice almost completely covers up that multi note which sometimes is peeking through I get little hints of it every now and then but yes spicy spicy and fruity the spice no doubt from the oak and the fruit no doubt from the previous contents of the oak it's a uh, yeah very very barrel or should we say cask cask influenced Cask forward. That's the way to describe it. Cask forward. If you like it spicy and Spanish sherry cask forward. This would be the whiskey for you. For me, you know, I think it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of cask forward. I like to taste the maltiness okay now I'm getting some more of those oak tannins along with my dark spicy fruits non-chill filtered and not colored are good things Yeah, it's a pleasant dram if you like cask forward. It also is getting quite astringent. Those spices. Now, it would appear that I forgot to bring a spoon. So I will just dip my finger into the water just a little bit, a few times. Three, four, four drops. Let's see what the water does to it. Because at 46%, the water might bring something else out. Ah. I think this is opening it up a little bit. It's bringing forth other things besides the dark ripe fruits oh now you know what I think I'm getting more of the spices the spices from the European oak it's really the spices are really coming out and the previous contents 
the fruits are somewhat diminished. I'm getting a bit of a butterscotch note too, which was not there before. Yep. More spices and some butterscotch. Let's see. Let's taste that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A little bit of water helps it. Butterscotch. Spicy. Less fruity, more spicy, and butterscotch. Mmm. Yeah. Oh. That's so much better with just four drops of water. Now, I'm also getting that multi note that was just peeking through before. Now it's coming out in full force along with the spices from the wood. The fruits are still there, but they're not as forward as they were before. Mm. Mm. Oh, but there they are. If I take a bit of air in, when I've got some of this in my mouth, The dark fruity notes go right up my nose from inside. Oh, and it coats the mouth beautifully. Yeah. Gotta hand it to Donner Pass Whiskey. This is another good one. <sighs> Slanchava. Food quick. 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 Food quick.